first thoughts. June 16, 2015. All right. Well, you know, we, we once again, we once again proven, all right, that America's minds are, are hypnotized by the media. All right, now we got, we're crucifying a woman, Miss Rachel Dumvali or whatever her name is. We're crucifying this woman because she said she was black, apparently, to, and she says she did it because it was choice. And that she is, uh, you know, she recognizes herself as a black woman. But, you know, obviously she didn't get a job because she was working for the NAACP. Kind of hard to, you know, check that box. Um, but it, because of her deception, okay, she uh, she had to resign from her job. You know, no nothing to be said about how well she did her job. It's just because she turned around and said, you know, or someone, our parents stepped up actually and said, oh, no, she's white. You know, so it, it's it's a, uh, a case of fraud. It's a case of um, deception. It's all this crap. But, you know, you can be a uh, Olympic gold medalist and change your gender, and you're exalted. You know, uh, come on. That's not right. Okay? It's all or nothing, gang. It's even less drastic. She didn't have anything surgically done. She laid in a, in a tanning booth, and she, you know, got a tight curl for her hair. That's it. Boom, she looks black. She does. I didn't see her ass, but, you know, it just ain't right. It just ain't right, okay? You know, if, if you change gender and you're famous, okay, you get awards. You get more airtime than than a, a person deserves. If I had one one-hundredth of that airtime, I'd be a household name. Uh, I, I wouldn't even be on this. I'd be on a television station somewhere. But that's the way it is, you know. It, it so judgmental. Okay, look, it, I don't give a shit either way. I really don't. Okay, I, I don't know. You know. I've seen people that have made gains and losses because of race. Okay, there's been uh, white kids that missed out on scholarships because of affirmative action. I've also seen. You know, uh, like county and uh, municipal jobs that get, uh, you know, taken care of. So, you know, none of them get in. And that's ridiculous. Okay, so I, I just got to say, America, if we're evolving, then evolve. Okay, don't pick and choose, you know, what what's acceptable and what isn't. And don't ever take somebody's job because of a of a personal choice of what how they want to be recognized. You know, I mean, if you fired Caitlyn Jenner from a job because she walked in the door, you know, or left one day and she was Bruce and came back the next day, Caitlyn, you'd have a lawsuit. You'd have all kinds of stuff going on. But because a woman said she's black instead of white, they're like, oh, she lied on an application. She's gone. What's a lie in that situation? Seriously. You know, God made you a man. God made you a woman and you transgender. Are you still really a man? You know, and if you, if you check that box, no, because legally somebody says you're a woman. You know, I don't get it. I really don't. And I got to say, America, this is a slippery slope. A slippery slope. Okay? I don't care. You know, I'm thinking of getting a bone and, uh, you know, put it through my nose and becoming a Pacific Islander. Yeah. I like them guys. I think they do a really cool dance in the night. It's kind of what I could get into. You know, it's not really rhythmic. Just a lot of slapping going on. Um, but, you know... I, I don't, I don't get it. So lighten up, America. All right, knock it off. All right, you gotta. If you gotta have it, you can't have it both ways. <laughs> can't have it both ways, guys. All right, so, so be cool. Who gives a shit? All right. 
you know, help her wear a jerry curl. I don't know. Just leave him alone. I know a lot of people that like being would like to be black. You know, actually, most people would like to be black until the cops show up. 